Okay, to expand three brackets, I would leave that first bracket alone. Don't touch that one. And I would just concentrate on expanding these two. So x times x is x squared. Two times three is six. And it's a plus times a minus, so that's a minus six. Now I'll do all the work here. So that times that is a positive three x. And that times that is a minus 2x. Now you may well skip that line out and acknowledge that that multiplication and that multiplication ends up giving you 1x. 3x's, take 2x's, is 1x. So you may well miss that line out. But all I've done is remove those two brackets. What I do next? x times the x squared is x cubed x times the x is x squared and that's positive x times the 6 is 6x and that's minus now i've got minus 4 times the x squared i've got minus 4x squared which i choose to write underneath the x squared i've already got minus 4 times the x is minus 4x likewise that goes under the x and minus four times minus six. Well, four times six is 24. Minus times a minus makes that plus 24. Now, the reason why I set it out like that is I can see the answer. I have got an x cubed. I have got an x squared, take a four x squared, I have got minus three x squared. I have got minus six x, minus four x, I've got minus 10 x. And I've got a plus 24 at the end. There is my answer. There's my A, there's my B, there's my C in the structure that they said.